We are back. We are back having defeated Grim, uh, the eternal protector of the forge. As, as is tradition, because this is a new week, I, uh, I spent some time cleaning up and organizing inventories, although um, you might not know it from the looks of the, uh, the garbage that we are carrying around, but that's a, that's a, different, a different story altogether. Hey, Jeff, thank you for uh, swinging by and saying hi. The the big thing that I realized was that the piece of loot that we got from Grim was this Grim skull helm. Obviously, we also got the two uh, the two chest pieces. I decided to go with two heavy armors since we've been rolling cleric warrior or cleric fighter. Hey, Connor, uh, you haven't watched much Baldur's Gate streams. How do you feel about chat help? I'm I'm into it. I I think there's a huge amount to learn from this game. And, uh, and so I'm always open to people kind of helping me through that process. Now, there is a bug in the game that, uh, that is noteworthy that I also wanted to talk about. And that has to do with the Sickle of Bual, which was our reward for, uh, for kind of like playing along with the red cap that was pretending to be Bual. Uh, it previously had a function that basically said if there are any of the, the fish folk hanging out they would uh we would receive a boon that made us have advantage on attacking bleeding targets which i was like that seems really good we can apply bleeds with lazel then we can follow up with Asterian, do big numbers damage wise uh you can see that it's gone and it goes away uh for the same reason that the idol of sylvanas's buff can go away if you have it on your person when you do a long rest and i didn't know that at the time we're too far in now but the sickle of bual has kind of like uh, lost a lot of its utility as a result of that. So for the time being, I'm going to swap back to the uh, the Susser Dagger because the ability to silence targets is kind of like a nice component of the uh, of the weapon. Uh, but other than that, there haven't been a lot of changes that have taken place. But like I like I was saying, the Grim Skull Helm being heavy armor meant that I couldn't put it on a Sterian, even though that's the logical place for it. That would mean that we would have had three out of four people with crit immunity. Uh, I am considering re-rolling Asterian uh, if we bring up uh, his thing, right? So he is a ranger, and he was a bounty hunter as his... Uh, he, is, he was a bounty hunter in, uh, in terms of his rager, ranger... Uh, what is it? Uh, not formidable enemy, but uh, preferred enemy. Or I don't remember exactly what it is. And bounty hunter comes with a... Uh, you have advantage on ensnaring strike, which we don't use a lot. There is another one, which is the Night Ranger, K N I G H T, not N I G H T, and that allows for heavy armor. So we might switch over to that just so that we can use the helm. But I don't mind having the Grim Skull helm on Lazel. We can still apply Hunter's Mark, and Hunter's Mark. Uh, works no matter who applies it. So basically we want to put it in a place where we think we're going to be able to utilize the bonus action. And now that I say that, there's a part of me that thinks that maybe we should put it on Shadow Heart. Because she she doesn't I guess her bonus actions are often healing. But anyways, I've also rearranged the bars so that our spells are nice and organized. Um there is a problem with this organization scheme. Uh Night Ranger would be quite nice here, and if you go far enough into Ranger later, you could get both. Yeah, at the moment I'm multi-classing. Uh, at the moment I'm multi-classing Ranger Rogue, and I had started putting levels into Rogue. When do you get your second preferred enemy? I guess is the question. And while we're doing that, uh, it is time for us to start uh, start heading in. No, this is the very end of Act One, Rusty. Or, or not not even the very end. We still have the mountain pass to do. We still have the crash to do. We still have some journey to the uh, to the Shadowlands to do. But let's... Uh, what we're going to do is... First place that we are going to go is the Risen Road. And and the reason for this, and, and this is uh, this is a little bit of irony, but if we look at our map... The, this is where we're headed. We're headed to the mountain pass. And, and we'll talk a little bit about this next engagement. There's some, there's some funkiness to it. I was doing a little bit of play testing that I kind of stumbled across. Uh, but there is a waypoint, like literally right here, I think, <laughs> that we just barely haven't found. So we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go collect said waypoint. 
You get it again at six level, uh, but five is def definitely optimal for stopping Ranger Rogue. Yeah, there's a there's a part of me, Connor, that is also thinking that we may go two levels into Fighter with Asterion, with the intention of uh, of getting uh, Action Surge, and we might, you know, our our final build might be uh, Ranger Five Rogue Rogue X, and then Fighter Two. To, to make it all, you know, kind of, like, even out. Uh, and and then, you know, like, there's there's some, you know, the, the thing we're looking for potentially from Rogue is we might go Assassin for kind of, like, that early burst damage. We might go, uh, we might go a few different ways. I think I've, I've veered off course a little bit here. Not exactly. Yeah, multi-classing is really cool, Rusty. If uh, if you haven't played with it, the only character that I'm multi-classing currently is Asterion. Uh, you did Asterion Ranger 5 Rogue 4 Fighter 3, and he is an absolute monster, no pun intended. I mean, even just right now, at Ranger... Uh, Oh, it says level six Ranger Rogue. But yeah, it, currently I'm at 5-1, and even that is just like... It's it's something to behold. All right, so we so this is uh this is the problematic area that we have entered into now. Uh, some weird there's some weird things that happen here. All right, so there's the waypoint that I was talking about that I somehow missed on our previous one. My own tab is a half orc assassin gloom ranger. Very nice for guaranteed great weapon crits. Ah, oh, Mr. Bunnyman, that is a that is a cool setup too. I love all the different uh, potential setups. But, uh, okay, so here's the issue that we have. We're about to come over here, and in coming over here, we are going to... There's an event that takes place here. If Lazelle is present, she does two things that are super-duper annoying. She, uh, she takes all of her equipment, and she's kind of like our pack mule, so she's carrying a bunch of stuff. So all of this equipment ends up in our inventory when she runs off to talk to the Githyanki, which is just like, why would you do that? So the, there's, a, there's a little bit of a trick that I have learned for taking care of this uh, that, I will, that I'll walk you through. But first and foremost, we, uh, we have some kind of like sleuthing to do over here. So presumably these are dragon scratches. Dragon marks. Nope. Good good job. <laughs> good good call. Alright, and then we need to We need to move that sucker. Oh, okay. Well we'll just pick it up and open it that way, I guess. Pick up a scroll of animate dead, a glass goblet, and 105 gold. We are we are rolling in the cash, by the way. Um, not to, uh, not to brag, but. They made a major change to the inventory stuff. I haven't noticed that. Um, that's very interesting. So the way that we're going to handle this is if Lazel stays back by this signpost, then we don't get the adverse reaction because she's technically out of range. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Asterion come up here. And say hi to uh, to this particular person over here. Hello, chum. What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham. I don't know what a Magresham is. <laughs> I mean, we do have the you just what did you whatever you just called me. I didn't like the sound of it. Uh, but let's uh, let's just go with. Uh, let's just go with what's the matter. What? Apart from the dragon? Look. Well, I didn't see the that dragon. That swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that is. Uh, I mean... Uh, who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Fair enough. Uh, seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. I mean, I'm always what? I'm always up for more people. Just follow you around. I go my own way. 
alone. Fair enough. Cool, cool. Pleasure meeting you. That's it. I'm getting out of here. All right. So, so now we uh, we're gonna stealth the and we're gonna come up to kind of check out what's going on over here. Oh, here we go. Drop your weapons. I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that. Hey, Alex. Pick. Welcome. This is y your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn. Dragons are cool. Yeah, what's shaking, Alex? How's it going? Dramatic, uh, a little dramatic dragon decimation. It's good alliteration, right? Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of you course, play Kifak. with the locals. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her. I'm doing well, her. Alex. I am. A red dragon. I envy its Wait, light. what? Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come, my kin await. She's not supposed to trigger off that. The dragon Hold on a sec. Githyanki. Follow me. Yeah, see, so she just left the party and she did the thing that I said she wasn't supposed to do. Interesting. Hold on. I want to I want to go back and load. So, I think what ha maybe I'm wrong about the mechanic of this. So, let's do a little bit of science here. Uh maybe it is Lazelle being near enough her companions to be able to talk to them. That might be the issue. Uh Yeah, the the breath was a little a little underwhelming. So, what I'm going to do instead here is this time Never a dull moment. I'm going to I'm going to run these two down this way. I must keep going. Cuz cuz Lazelle is very problematic, obviously. You saw what she did there. That that kind of dynamic Careful. is very problematic. We'll uh we'll go through this again and All see right. if if the distance between them What are you doing? That's that's worse oh, than what I had, see Alex. You, um also I I wanted to go back, uh Connor. And yes, I have noticed yeah, we're, I mean, we're going to test it out now, but I have noticed that uh, shifting around of quest items is super annoying because, like, Asterion has boots that are technically quest boots, and they get uh, they they get shifted around. Okay, so not a lot comes from this. We'll we'll try a slightly different path. Harassing tongue. Your harassing Look. tongue. That lot are swarming all over the. We bridge. get we get one more dose of I dragon don't know what they shenanigans. Want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Unless you're looking for a fight, that it's, is. It's not a bug treasure. I just think it's it's a poorly designed mechanic, right? Like, to have a party member of your team disband from your team and then run off and dump all their gear on one of your heroes is, like, I think a very bad storytelling mechanism. Okay, we know we're not getting much out of this. Nobody. I'll still ask her. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. This this conversation seemed to go slightly differently, what? I feel like. Just follow you around. Alright, this part didn't. I go my own way. Alone. So now that we've now that we've separated her a bit. That's it. I'm I think out of here. I think we will we will see a different uh, a different interaction. But let's let's see. Let's we're testing this out. Drop your weapons. We get to see the dragon again, I'll which is not your terrible. To the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn. Burn. She used to just keep the gear, I think, and that bothered some folks, and the solution seems to be more bothersome. I kind of feel that way, because, like, what happens is, is, like, I, I then can't chase after her, and when I get control of her again, she doesn't have any of her potions, and it's just, like, this weird... It's this weird dynamic, so... I don't Stop mind time, tweaking this encounter a little bit. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to. No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. So, Find the weapon. So treasure, they're Our definitely watches us. Fail her at your peril. They're definitely not the good guys. Those whelps are so there we go. the bridge. Time to put them in their place. Yeah, so okay, so so you see what just happened there. This time the voice line that was previously Lazelle's 
now was done by Shadowheart. And what that means is that Lazelle did not get captured by the interaction. Now she's free. She 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 can she retains her equipment. She doesn't dump anything on us, and we don't lose her from the party. So, so I think, like, that is a good way, to, for, like, a good compromise for handling this. And now, now we have some choices. Uh, nope, this is the same, this is the same run, Bible. Same run. Also, welcome, and how's it going? So, so like I was, I was mentioning before, I, these, this whole posse are, are kind of jerks, if I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh... I, I have really not... I, I think I like Lazelle. I think she's redeemable. But I do not like the Githyanki. And so I'm thinking about taking a bit of an adversarial tilt to dealing with them. Uh, which, which is to say that I don't think I'm... I think I'm going to kill them. <laughs> um, now, the... The the piece of this that is kind of like new information, or you may be aware of it already... No, I wasn't in Act 2 last time, Bible Thump. Still in Act 1. So so we have this, this group of Githyanki. And if you... Uh, I reloaded a save and removed everything from Lacelle before the scene. Yeah, I mean, same end result kind of thing, Alex. I, I think I prefer this way more. But here's the deal. So obviously we have a dragon, which which we need to we need to take a look at. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to bring out... Uh, bring out our friend Shovel. Because Shovel... Shovel's great for reconnaissance. So we can we can come over here so we can at least look at everybody and see what's going on here. Now... I mean, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But we, So we can do... We can do some... Uh... Alright, I, I love the fact that, like, it's like, look, it's a dragon. It's it's the size of a quarter. Um, you can't zoom in that far, unfortunately. Um, but uh, but with 19 AC, 27 strength, and 25 constitution, it's a uh, it is a huge 6,000 pound behemoth. Uh, then we have we have this gentleman, uh, Kithric Voss. Now, if you for those who have some. Like who who knows some spoilers? Uh, there is a cheesy way to uh, get his sword. Uh, he has a very good sword, uh, and you can technically like invis over to him and like disarm him and do all these things. We'll not be doing that. Uh, I I did it in my in my play testing because it's cool and I wanted to see how it works, etc. Um, but I don't like it. Someone in this wretched world has what we need. Yeah, you can use command, but I found a better way, Bible Thump. Uh, and the better way, so command has a 12% chance of disarming Kithrek Voss. Uh, the spell Fear has uh, like a 40% chance of disarming him. And the thing that's much cooler about Fear is because Fear is a frontal cone AoE. You can get, you can hit him and some of his minions at the same time. So uh, it's it's quite an interesting like approach to the to the thing. So anyways, long story short. So like the way that this works, right? If if we come over here, is these guys are jerks. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's kind of insane, Bible bump. And if we if we talk to them, we get nothing out of it. The the Githyanki are generally in this particular case they're just they're just jerks. We end up you know like having a confrontation with Kithric Voss and very little comes of it. So what I would like to do instead is I would like to murder them in cold blood. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. So so I'm I'm about to I will demonstrate now because it's fun. So we'll hit ourselves with a save just in case things don't go to plan. I'm gonna open my uh, my potion satchel. And we are going to. If not over, then through. We're gonna. We're not gonna disarm him. Anything? As much Nothing fun as so that far. is, we're just gonna. Welcome to the Thunderdome, Githyanki. 
All right. So as you can see, everyone is now uh, having a bad time. <laughs> yeah, we got them all. Normally you don't get them all, uh, but you usually get some of them. Now the, the trick with disarming that is, uh, is worth observing is after you disarm people, you should really pick up their weapons so that they uh, can't re-equip themselves. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll send these to camp. We don't, we don't need them right now. Now we're also going to join the fray now with everyone else. So the way that I'm going to handle that is I am going to psionic jump on Lazelle and uh, come into the thick of things with her as well. Welcome, welcome to the party, Lazelle. Now what we can do is we can continue. Sometimes it's a little hard to get access to some of their. Uh, I don't. Th I don't think until Lazelle's turn we can actually get I'm that. Ready. We uh, we're gonna have a slightly less Go exciting entrance with uh, with our girl Shadowheart, but we haven't even activated. Uh, really? Really? I haven't even activated our our buddy Asterion here, and I think because we we kind of high rolled the disarms, so I think we're just gonna we're just gonna do we're just gonna do some damage here. All right, and now everybody is part of the part of the party. Well, so much for peace. And I think, at the moment, there's no opportunity attacks, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep <laughs> we're just gonna keep harvesting weapons here. And then we'll uh, we'll run over here. I don't think there's much need. We should we should move shovel to somewhere safe. No need to have shovel getting uh, wrecked. But again. given that this went so well, I think we're just gonna start making uh, making fun of people. All right, and we will also put some damage in on on Gith here. But that's that's the end of our turn. He's he's not doing anything. And now we uh, now we get to continue the uh, continue this. the onslaught. Now we're not now we're not hitting for that higher percentage chance because the Gith Yankee are relatively uh, relatively resilient. So we're gonna we're gonna go back to our high percentage high damage attacks. Gloomstalker doing doing work, and then we will hide. I, I like to take this guy out first because he uh, he's a caster. Gosh. We're doing so well right now. We almost don't need, uh, we almost don't need to action surge. That could be that could be a little bit of greed. I'm I'm guilty sometimes of being overly greedy with this fight. I think let's let's not do that. We're gonna. Well, I mean. All right, critical miss there. Yeah, there there is like we were talking about it earlier, but I actually really like the idea of using. Uh, Shadow Heart as the Hunter's Mark applier. Because in this case, I don't really want to use a, a second level spell slot on a spiritual weapon given the situation. But I am going to Action Surge to try and get a bit of control. Where's my Goading Strike? Because what I don't want is I don't want her running over and doing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of nasty things to us. All right. But that feels pretty good. We're, we're stealth. I don't think I really don't think we need we need spiritual weapon. So let's uh, let's just keep moving her forward. I'm reasonably sure. Let's double check. It it might not be. Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. Uh, T. Thank you. Mark a creature as your quarry and deal an additional one to six slashing damage whenever you hit with a weapon attack. If the target does it dies before the end of the spell. You can mark a new creature without expending it. Hey, Mellow Fresh! Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, so it does say mark as your quarry to deal an additional slashing damage whenever you hit. So yeah, so I guess it doesn't work on uh, it doesn't work on multiple. It's been good on Lazel. I probably should. I can't use it this turn because I use jump, but uh, but we can do that. Uh, we will not bother counterspelling Misty Step. Although, I think that just took us out of stealth, which is annoying. Um, 
Yeah, let's let's head her back. Uh, you're thinking about buying this game, and I never played a D and D game. I think this is an incredible, uh, an incredible way to get started with Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I think it's uh, it's it's an exceptional like introduction to it. What are we gonna do about this guy? I could Tasha's him. Maybe I can also just shove him off if I move a little bit. Okay, that. That helps. And then now if I move here, all right, it doesn't really matter, but I think I'm gonna keep putting in damage on her. Well, let's see, let's see how much work Lazel does here. I should have Hunter Mark this turn, for sure. Why am I getting another attack right now? I'm actually, I'm actually unclear, but. I'm not going to complain about it. Lazel is a monster. But now that we've done that, I guess this guy is the guy that I should be... I should be roasting. Can't afford to let up. I... I, I know this, this, uh, this Ray of Frost Staff has not performed particularly well. Uh for us this particular combat but it is like when I go. it's really strong I'm just going to block the uh, I'm going to block the the climb up spot there and then let's see I think I will give him disadvantage this is tactician Connor This is Tactician. Let's have some courage. My faith will protect me. We're uh, we're just making a mockery of it at the moment. <laughs> uh, we don't get that many opportunities to war cast. Oh, boo, Shadowheart, boo. How much damage did I just take from falling? Five damage, Rumble. Victory awaits. I really should use Hunter's Mark. That probably would have been. I probably would have secured the kill if I had done that. Quickly. Boo. Can't be missing those seventy fives, Asterian. Very embarrassing. I recently installed difficulty mods, so my broad is my uh, my brain is broken in terms of HP. That's fair, um, but like that right there is about as clean as I think this fight can go. Your parasite wriggles. Lazel sees your memories of your confrontation with Kithrak Voss. Voss. Still Kithrak, Knight Supreme, an honorable warrior, Vlakith's finest. He'd have led us right to the crash. Instead, he watches from the skies like a falcon, and we are his prey. Skvar, an unexpected complication. I am vexed. And more so, impressed. So the lesser man would be adorning the road as a shredded corpse. Yet your head remains firmly atop your shoulders. This, uh, this answers your question, Treasure. I, I also, when I was first experimenting this, was like, Lazel's gonna hate this. And yet, here we are, and she's paying me the nicest compliment she ever has. Uh, impressed? That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. If by nice you mean truthful, then consider me positively pleasant. Now, to the point. The crash is not far from where you met Voss. We must go there immediately. Oh, awesome, Mellow Fresh. Unless, of Welcome. Of course, you'd rather sprout waxy tendrils where there were no tendrils before. Uh, and if Kithrak Vost finds us? Keep me at your side, and I will invoke protocol. It is my people's duty to aid infected Githyanki. Let's see. Okay. All good? Thank you. 
Thank you, Lazel. Let's, uh, let's bring the party together. Hey, Stakes, welcome. I, I am going to check in with, uh, with everybody here for a second. Also, get over here, Shovel. Thank you for your scouting. It seems the Githyanki are keen to reclaim the artifact I carry. I can't afford that to happen. In fact, none of us can. That thing is shielding us somehow. I don't want to know what happens if we lose it. So, she said the artifact that I carry, uh, which I'm the one carrying the artifact, and I, I can't get rid of it. Uh, there must be more to the artifact. You were sent to take it. You must know why it's important. Or the artifact is shielding us, but ultimately you wish to give it away. Something has to give. Let's, let's go with number two. I only know what I know. I was ordered to retrieve it, and that's what I intend to do. The rest is immaterial to me. Ah, uh, Mr. Bunny Ben. So, if you, uh, there's a video on my channel called, uh, I think it's just called Shovel. But the short version is that if you, if you learn Shovel on Gale, and then you enter the lab, and then you, ha you have your, uh, your, your main character as the one who talks to Shovel after you enter the lab, it actually gives the permanent ritual version of sh Summon Shovel to that spellcaster. Um, so there, there was a little bit of a little bit of trickery that you have to do to make it work, but you can make it work. Um, I, I could probably I could probably go through and kind of show it, but it's uh, there's there's a bunch of guides about how you can do it. I think the other piece that I'm forgetting is I switched my bard briefly to a wizard before I talked to Shovel. So like we went into the lab, I made my bard a wizard and then talked to Shovel and he does the uh, the line where Shovel calls you a spell shite and then you get the ritual. I, I believe that was the actual process, but uh, there's a video where I do it. So uh, our options are, uh, I found this idol of Shar here, perhaps you might want it, or you kept that idol of Shar from Grimforge, I take it. I mean, if my option is, is to claim that I found it and give it to her, or or say that she took it. I'm gonna go with two. You, you <laughs> thought of me. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'll find a place of honor for it in camp. Nobody's ever given me anything before. What do I owe you in return? Nothing. Just don't abandon me. It's a gift. I'm not expecting anything. I'll settle for a thank you. Sure, we'll go with them. It's a gift. Thank you. Lady Shard teaches us to forswear material goods. But I think she'll make an exception for her own image. I wonder. Perhaps this is connected to the Dark Justicias. This is no coincidence, I'm sure of it. I need to keep an eye out for more signs. Learn more about the Justicia's presence in these lands. It could be important. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a Dark Justicia. Dream big. There's scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. If the Dark Justicia's were once a power around here, all signs suggest that is a long time past, or we have more important things, or... I mean, I, I'm in a letter keeper dream. I'm not against it. Thank you. I should have known you'd be understanding. All right. Then let's let's check in with Asterion. If the Gith are looking for that artifact, then we may have something valuable on our hands. And it's a powerful weapon to boot. Things are starting to look very interesting. Agreed, Asterion. All right, and then, Lazel, anything else from you? Speak. Nope. You're back to your old charming self. Okay. So, anyways, so let's uh, let's do a bit of uh, a bit of looting up here, and we'll also oh speak to Dad. What's in here? I don't even know why I picked that stuff up. Send all this stuff to camp. I don't think the Githyanki longsword or the Githyanki greatsword are actually upgrades What's for Lazel. Inside? 
remove from wares. These go over to Asterion. I should be using potions more, too. We have a lot of them. Got a couple more sets of, uh, of Lazelle armor. She had a potion of invisibility, hill giant strength, uh, and an elaborate slate. Unusual runes are etched on the slate, forming an array of arcs and circles. I don't like that we don't have a guidance option here. That's interesting. But we passed the check. Oh yeah, the, the Idol of Shar, uh, Treasure Hunter. We found it in a room in Grimforge and we picked it up. Uh, it was like behind lock and key and I've just been carrying it around and I guess giving it to Shadowheart was something we could do back then. Three journal updates. Magical energy courses through the slate. You are flooded with understanding. A mystical map glows before you, revealing a Githyanki refuge within a temple at the mountain pass. This must be the crash that Lazel seeks. The slate also reveals the Githyanki's purpose. They are combing the Sword Coast in search of a polyhedric relic of great importance to their queen. So we, we have a lot of intel at this point that indicates that the the queen is not super cool she's not a she's not a cool cat she's kind of a jerk and then we're gonna have to do this anyways uh technically this should go in our potion spot and then this should also go in our potion spot It's always the most fun after stream when I get to uh, when I get to clean up all of the all of the chaos that I've created in my stash. Uh, let's see, everybody, form up. I'm a little surprised Lazel had nothing to say about the about the circular thingy. That won't draw any attention. Speak. Okay. Apparently, she just doesn't. All right. I'll. I'll give that to her for the time being. Quest items usually go on them. Now, hmm. I don't think Shadowheart killed anyone. But I don't I don't entirely remember. And I, I hate this facet of Speak with the Dead, but we will uh We're just gonna We're just gonna change Shadowheart's appearance. Whatever comes, I'm ready. She's always wanted to be a female gnome again. And now let's uh, let's do some dead speaking. Wits and blades always sharp. She does look like good as a the gnome, I will say. You lifelessly. Let's see. Uh, why did you come Find here? The weapon. I will say, for being dead for such a little time, she's looking pretty rough. You know where the Gishyanki crash is. Uh, can I remove an illithid parasite at the crash? At the crash. Cleansing. Uh, what does this weapon do? All powerful. Flacket's prize. Okay. Uh, who is Vlacketh? My queen. Uh, what is your profession? Soth. Warrior of Vlacketh. The I, spell's power wanes. I kind of feel like Can every talk to dead, questions. you should be like, what is your profession? And they should always respond, corpse. What about disguise? I'm, I'm not sure I, I understand the question you're asking. So, like, if if I don't use illusion to change my appearance, if Shadowheart landed the kill on on Sarth here, Sarth would not respond to talk to dead. 
So I always like to change my appearance after a fight before I do talk with Dead to make sure I'm not missing anything. That's the that's the idea. This guy this guy was killed before we got here. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hey Miko, I'm I'm running uh I'm running a bard as my main character, and then I'm running Shadowheart as a cleric. I'm running Asterian as a rogue ranger multi class, and I am running Lazel as a pure fighter at the moment. All right, uh, who are you? Yule, son of Gara. Yule, son of Log. Got it. Uh, what were you doing here? King Path, Baldur's Gate. Uh, did you find the way to Baldur's Gate? <laughs> Risen Road. Cross Wooden Bridge. You mean the wooden bridge that's now a pile of ash? Uh, where are you getting no. on? With sorrow, fled to Grove. Okay. What's your Mira profession? In Elturel, before its fall. The spell's power wanes. All right. You can ask no more questions. I can ask no more questions. Heartbreak. All right. All right. Did what we really? Have to keep we'll do it. We'll do a quick swing over this way. Make sure we're not missing any. Uh, any herbs? Looks pretty. It looks pretty clear. All right. So, I will say, Lazel's psionic jump clearly has the ability to cross this chasm. Wait, whoa, what are you? Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, that's interesting. Still warm from the red dragon's fire. Well, oh, that's a fun little. The dragon is clearly not to be trusted. I mean, not that we care about. Uh, not that we care about a shield, but I would love to get to the point again where our bard has the ability to uh, to use a shield. But let's uh, let's quickly take advantage of our uh, our stash of good berries to top everybody off. There we go. All right, onward. Yes, let's. You multi-class all your characters? What's your favorite multi-class that you've uh, that you've discovered so far? Did we I think we I mean we didn't really is this this is a weird little path. I think this was just a Oh, oh, we missed this raider. What now? I wonder. We got Luton to do still. Disaster. Oh, some arrows? Don't mind if I do. I've got a long road oh, that's right, and I think I think we walked by I'm some stuff up here. So let me uh, let me survey this because you get pulled directly into the dragon thing. Six bard, four rogue, two spore druid. Ooh, that's a that's a really cool. That's a really cool combination that I haven't seen. Talk to me about like what's the play style there? Like what is what is your favorite uh, your favorite thing to do? Like how do you open fights? What are your like primary damage abilities? I'm actually super cool. I'm actually super interested, not super cool. I am I am the opposite of super cool. I'm regular cool. No, well, even that might be a stretch. Let's see. That goes to Shadowheart. She's our herbalist. Send those to camp. More potions go in there. This gets sent to camp as well. All right, and then I think... Oh, one trust. more chest. One more Please. chest. Oh, and one more bucket, too. Oh, more arrows for our boy. Maybe I need more pockets. Paladin Warlock is also fun. I, I tried out... Like, it was a very minor, like, dip into it. But I, uh, I did... I, for a while, I was running Eldritch Blast on on my bard as part of the uh, the feat that allows you to pick up other things, but it was kind of it was kind of meh. I I found it I found it not uh, not transformative. I think without dipping further into Warlock, it doesn't work that way. Multi attacking with wit, hand crossbows using College of Swords, multiple hits, and useful utility spells. All right, so this is it.